We will be introducing to you the new cloud features available on the F800 Pro and how to get them working. These cloud features are driving impact notification, locate vehicle, and geofencing. Before starting, you will require an Apple or Android mobile device with an active SIM card and a personal hotspot or tethering to access these features. The mobile device will act as a gateway and relay the personal information back to the server where other devices that are signed onto the same Thinkware account can access the information. There is no limit on the number of registered devices. This is particularly great for fleet managers who have multiple fleet vehicles equipped with our cloud-enabled dash cam. We first begin by showing users on how to create and set up a Thinkware account. On your mobile device, open up the Thinkware Cloud app. Select three dots on the bottom and sign in, then Thinkware sign up. Create an account by filling in your information. Checkmark the boxes to accept the terms and privacy policy. Now go to your email to verify your account. Your Thinkware account has been created. Now return to the app where we will register your Thinkware account with the dashcam. Select sign in located on the bottom. Enter the email and password you created the Thinkware account with and click on sign in. Select yes to receive push notifications on your mobile device. Select push notification settings and ensure all of your network function notifications are on. Then you need to connect dashcam to the personal hotspot. If this is the first time connecting to the personal hotspot, please click on the link below to view our past video on how to set it up. Once the device is connected to personal hotspot, the dashcam will automatically register onto your Thinkware account. A screen will pop up telling you your dashcam has been successfully registered. Click on the X located on the top right corner to exit out of the notification. Then go into the dashcam settings, network function settings. Under network function, select enabled. Under driving impact notification, select either impact one or impact two. Impact one will give you a notification when the G sensor detects the acceleration range of 3.3G to 5G. When it detects an impact more than 5G under impact two setting, the dash cam will give you a notification. Click on the back arrow located at the top left corner to save your settings. Now we are ready to explore the F800 Pro cloud features. One of the cloud features is driving impact notification. Users will receive a strong impact detected while driving notification when an accident occurs to a vehicle. Whether it's one of your vehicles or a vehicle you are managing on the road, it is best that you can have first-hand knowledge of when the accidents happen to ensure the safety of others. The next cloud feature is Locate Vehicle. It is designed for fleet managers and owners to track the location of their vehicles. Fleet managers may want to know whether their driver is en route to their destination. Owners on the other hand, perhaps a parent may want to check on where their children are and how fast they are driving. The data does refresh every 10 seconds to update you with the latest information. You will see a red dot and a blue dot displayed on the map. The red dot shows the location of the dash cam with an arrow pointing towards the direction that it is traveling towards. The blue dot shows the location of your mobile device. You can click on the icon at the bottom of the map to see your mobile device's location in comparison to the dash cam's location. In Locate Vehicle, what's neat is that you can also see the approximate address, the speed, and the date and timestamp. The last cloud feature we will be talking about is geofencing. Geofencing is using GPS technology to create a virtual geographic zone where the act of a dash cam entering or leaving the zone can trigger a response to send off a notification to mobile devices. To set a geofencing zone, select the cloud icon on the bottom of the app. Set Geofence and click on the plus on the top right corner. On the map, select a destination to set it as the center of the zone. Then, select the depth of the coverage zone by selecting Radius, which can be from 100 meters to 600 kilometers. Lastly, set the notification type, Entrance, Departure, or both. Click on the Save icon located on the top right corner and you can add up to 20 zones. To monitor a dash cam, select Start Monitoring. You will receive a notification when the dash cam enters or exits the zone. At any time you wish to stop, select Stop Monitoring. To delete a geofence zone, click on the X beside the zone. One of the things to take note with these cloud features is that the dash cam is required to be connected to GPS 
in order for the dash cam to send off these location-based notifications to mobile devices. GPS connected. In addition, the dash cam must be connected to a mobile device's personal hotspot at all times in order to get the cloud features working. Connected to the internet. Thank you for watching our video. Interested in Thinkware dash cams? Please subscribe us below for more videos.